Hi, I'm Tyson Wise, co-founder and CEO of ForeFlight. We're in our Portland, Maine office this week, which is the home of our map technology team. And that's an important place to be telling you about ForeFlight 8 and major enhancements to ForeFlight for the web, where our new map technology plays a, a central role. To tell you more about it, our product manager, Ryan McBride, is going to lead you through some of the new features. So right now we're looking at a view of the planet. The new map engine is extremely responsive, so I can just take my finger and swipe around and you can see things are, are, are super smooth. You'll notice in the background there's actually um, an accurate star field being rendered. And as I zoom in here, new elements come into the, uh, the, the viewport. So for example, I'm looking at now at uh, all the artsy boundaries all across the country. I'll zoom into the area we're in now. You can see more airports render, airspace begins to come into the frame. As I continue to zoom, we start to get our class C's, our class B's, our restricted areas. We begin to see airways, um, waypoints along those airways, nav aids. We've incorporated our uh, four flight airport diagrams into the vector map as well. So you can see the runway labels on that airport, and even further you get taxiway labels. We call this our continuous zoom technology. So I'll zoom back out here. You'll see there's never any redrawing. Everything is totally seamless. Things fade in and out. It's worldwide, so you can look at airspace and aeronautical data anywhere in the world. But the aeronautical layer is totally customizable, and I can do that under the settings menu. Under four flight map, the first option here, map theme, allows us to change the theme of the map. So for example, I could select the dark theme instead of the light theme. But all of the uh, familiarity of all the symbols in the map are retained. We've made sure in our design process that between themes, things aren't redesigned so that you have to learn anything. Um, so for example, I'll zoom back into the area we're in here, and you can see that continuous zoom technology in effect. Also under the settings menu, we have a terrain option. I can turn terrain on and off here. And terrain is themable. All the elements that you select on and off in the settings here correspond to the theme you've had selected. Also in settings is an optional adjustment here for text label sizes. So this is something that a lot of customers have asked for, which is the ability to decrease or increase the size of labels in the application. All the charts that users come to expect in ForeFlight VFR sectionals, for example, uh, will still be available. So the same mapping technology we're bringing to ForeFlight Mobile 8 on the iPad is also available on the iPhone. So for example, I can tap on a shape in the map on the iPhone, and I get a 2 thirds view, which gives me all the elements that are available in my viewport. And as I tab through these elements, the view resizes and moves and centers the element that I've selected. The same mapping technology we've built into ForeFlight Mobile 8 on the iPad is now available on ForeFlight Web. In the top right-hand corner here, I can type in the departure the destination, and we get instant results. So right now it's telling me that from Chicago to Oshkosh is going to be 124 nautical miles. If I select that, that route is plotted for me directly on the map. It's automatically zoomed to the route, and I have a new nav log window. In this nav log window, I can select information, for example, the aircraft that I want to use. Uh, I can select the performance information for that aircraft, speed and fuel burn, the altitude I want to fly at, and my estimated time of departure. And instantly I receive performance information about that route. The distance of the route, how much fuel I'm going to burn, my time in route, any headwind or tailwind component. I can then take that route and brief it or file it directly on ForeFlight Web. We've also improved logbook functionality on ForeFlight Web. For example, I can select different reports, experience reports. I can look at my FAA 8710 report. All these reports are available in-app and on the web now. Track log functionality is also available on ForeFlight Web. So I can browse all of the track logs that have been recorded either manually or auto automatically in ForeFlight Mobile. All of my track logs from my iPad or iPhone application sync automatically to ForeFlight Web. So when I log into the web after a flight, the flight that I just flew will be synced and I can review it here. So to learn more about ForeFlight 8 and uh, the new web uh, enhancements, come see us in Hangar C or visit foreflight.com slash 8.